Today's show is all about survival after 35. And now I'm introducing you to a man, he's a nutritionist and trainer, who's unlocked the science to completely reshaping your body. And he figured it out by closely studying all the women in his life. Then guess what? He went on to help thousands of women like these. Shauna lost 89 pounds and 32% body fat. What a difference. Monique lost 60 pounds and 19% body fat. She lost all the fat. And Claudette, she lost 29 pounds and 18% body fat. Please meet Mark McDonald. I'm here to tell you, your yo-yo dieting days are over. Mark McDonald, he's the mastermind behind the latest weight loss phenomenon that's transforming thousands of women. Come on, finish strong. And he says he has the secret to transform your over 35 body for good. I've been there. I was an athlete growing up. But then once I stopped playing sports, I ate pizza every day with ice cream, I gained 60 pounds in six months. I was determined to get my six-pack abs back at any cost. I tried all the diets, and I got great results. But I was starving and miserable. Growing up, I saw my mom struggle with dieting. I saw it happen to my wife. I was determined to crack the code for pain-free, permanent weight loss. Now, McDonald is the driving force behind thousands of success stories. Even Chelsea Handler credits Mark for reshaping her body. I finally uncovered the secret to turn your body into a calorie burning machine. And you don't need a fancy gym or a magic pill. And the best part is you're never going to feel hungry again. Welcome to the show, Mark. Now, Thanks, now, now, Mark argues that the way you turn your body into a calorie burning yeah. machine has to do with blood sugar and how you balance it. So yeah. please explain. So when your blood sugar is balanced, your hormones are balanced. And that triggers your body to consistently release stored fat. And that's how we achieve permanent weight loss. So it's not about eating less or starving yourself. And let me explain how this works. Yep. Come on over, Mark. We'll do this together. So we have created three different versions of how you eat your food. Yep. Right? And this is the sugar that we eat in our body. You can manage yep. that. Okay. And this is what your body looks like. So when you're young, you kind of want it to look like this. And as you pour the, the food in there, if you eat too much sugar, what happens? You get bigger and bigger. Pour it all in there. Pour it all in there. And, and you <laughs> put on a lot of weight. And you're not happy about that. So you get mad at yourself. So guess what you do? You eat some more. Yeah. And you get even bigger. Right? <laughs> Yeah, why do you think women beat themselves up so much and don't come back from this? You know, it's a, to me, it's the mindset that we're so focused right now on calorie restriction, carbohydrate restriction. We think to lose weight, we have to starve ourselves. Mm -hmm. And it, it's so painful. So what ends up happening, we follow that yo-yo dieting syndrome. Right. And it's, a, it's just a better way. If you understand how to eat the food you love and about eating more, not less, you really can stabilize your blood sugar. Well, you just mentioned it. Take us through the scenario of somebody who yeah. starves themselves, because this is what often happens. Yeah. So you've done this. We hit our tipping point. Right. We cut our calories. We cut our carbs. We think, let's just get the weight off as fast as possible. And what happens? This drives you crazy. You get just as big. Yeah. Just as big, because when you don't have any sugar in your body, your body thinks, very justifiably, yeah. you're in starvation mode. If you're in starvation mode, you're going to hold on to anything that comes in your body, and you're going to store those fat cells. Instead, you burn down muscle. So the such, what you lose in that yo-yo process yeah. is muscle mass, which means that you, as soon as you begin eating a little bit more again, because every once in a while you're going to go off this diet, yeah. back to old-fashioned, guess what happens? Which is why it's even worse for you, because you don't have any muscle burning through calories. So what if you eat the amount of food, in particular sugars, between starving yourself and what you did in the very first scenario, which is to get heavy. Go ahead and pour that you in You get there. the body you want, and you achieve permanent weight loss. Yeah. And you where you want to be? Body you, confidence. Body Looking confidence. Looking and feeling your very best. Yeah. Makes sense? The critically important insight that Mark has. All right. Let's go through the plan. Okay. It's all about stabilizing your blood sugar in order okay. to lose weight and to keep it off for life. So step yeah. number one, you argue, it is to eat equal portions, eat in three. So the first step is you got to eat every three to four hours. You got to feed your body. When you feed your body consistently, you release your stored fat. Your second step is to divide your plate in thirds, Pro, a third protein, a third carbohydrates, and a third fat. So we have great examples here. And enjoy your food. So you have an egg white omelet with some veggies on it. You have oatmeal as your carbohydrates, and then you have your turkey bacon as your fat. All right, well, lunch. So lunch is great. You look at a turkey burger. This is the final piece. But here's your carbohydrate, here's your protein, and the avocado is a great source of fat. And look, you can eat the foods you love. You can put a little ketchup and mustard on it to make it a little spicy. 
And then you have some lettuce and tomatoes. Those are like free foods. Okay. And then this is more complicated because here you got uh, meals that aren't just purely one or the other. Yeah. So you have steak, which beef is a mixture of protein and fat. So you kind of get it both in one. You sweet potato is a carbohydrate. And then the sour cream, a low-fat sour cream, to make that potato taste a little flavorful. And then here, look, you have your veggies. Go for the veggies. They're, you know, they're great for you. So any of these meals, you can add some additional veggies, and they're not going to spike your blood sugar. They're going to really make you feel like you're enjoying your food. Yeah. And now, I, I just noticed something. You, you pointed out you've got to eat every three hours. Mm -hmm. You give it a three meals equally proportioned. These are all about 300 calories yeah. a piece, roughly. Yeah. But that means you've got to have more meals. So Mark very smartly says step two is to prepare a mobile readiness food kit. Listen, going on a diet is a war. Yeah, right? totally. So you've got to have a mobile unit that's preparing you and can support you. So explain what these little things are. So we call them MRFK, your mobile readiness food kit, because the hardest times, whether we're busy, we're driving in traffic, whatever it is, there's a mid-morning, mid-afternoon meals. So you want to find quick things that you can do that are doable for you. That's the biggest thing. This has to be doable for people or they're just going to quit. That's why people fail with dieting. So look, you have an apple, you have turkey jerky, you have some nuts. You have Greek yogurt, which is a great source of protein, some seeds and some dried fruit, some dried cranberries. Mm -hmm. And then if you are jam in, a, in a jam, you can simply have a protein bar yeah. that's got equal fat, protein, and carbs in your purse. That's how easy it is to be prepared. And then you can have a cool little satchel like this. Oh, very, very nicely made. You, you, it's well decorated. Yeah. <laughs> so every three hours, you've got six different ways of eating here. Every three hours, and these are about 250 calories a piece? About 250, 300 calories. And this is not about dieting. It's about stabilizing your blood sugar, which releases your sore fat and allows you to achieve permanent weight loss with foods you enjoy. All right. So we got our six meals every three hours. We're clear on that. And you have one last little tip or step three, which yes. is a little magic, but I think it's important. <laughs> it's to drink three liters of water with cinnamon extract in it. How does this help? Well, you get, you get two things. So the first thing is that when we look at cinnamon extract, mm -hmm. that helps stabilize blood sugar. Mm -hmm. So it actually helps your cells receive the hormone insulin, that's a um, blood sugar lowering hormone, better. So you can process food better. Okay. Now we look at water, obviously water is fantastic right. because just like your body's a, a feed as it goes machine, it's a drink as it goes machine. If you drink water, you lose water, which is gonna help you so much in losing weight and removing toxins. But oh. we hold on, so it's as simple as this. Oh, look how easy already. this is. You do. I was gonna comment that it doesn't have a taste. You do two drops, that's all you have to do. Drink it up. You can stir it up a little bit. You don't have to. It's nice. Are it's we going to toast? A toast. To there we go. Loss. To weight right. loss. Thanks for to now, permanent weight permanent loss. Permanent weight loss. Don't go anywhere because Mark is coming back and tell us about the three simple things we need to do to keep the weight off for life. You enjoy it. <laughs> I'm back with Mark McDonald, who's revealing the three things every woman age 35 and over needs to do to keep the weight and the fat off for life. Yeah. That's just a big question. What percentage of dieters do you think actually succeed? You know, that's, that's the tough part, is that 80% of all dieters regain every pound they lost, plus some, within two short years. And what's your success rate with your clients? You know, the great thing is about 75%. We really educate people on how to 75% succeed or fail? 75% succeed. Wow. So what's the key to success? How do you achieve what it, I mean, it's a huge difference. Huge. It's all about shifting your mindset. Dieting sets us up to lose. So when you talk about restriction, calories in versus calories out, who wants to feel deprived? So the whole thing is about educating people about how to stabilize their blood sugar. And rather than using food to lose weight, you use it to create hormonal balance. So you enjoy your food. We have to make this a lifestyle and educate people. All right. We're going to go through three things to educate folks yep. to adjust their bodies. Uh, and again, these are things you're going to do for the rest of your life. The rest. first the first lesson is three ounces of protein before every sheet. Yes. Why is that so important? Well, well, the biggest thing is that diets, you know, you suck it up for 90 days mm -hmm. and then you crack. You know, you want to start eating the foods you enjoy again. Well, we all want to have some cake or some french fries or some alcohol. The biggest thing is that protein helps slow down the rate that your blood sugar spikes. Mm -hmm. So if you eat your protein first, you minimize the negative or the effects of these types of foods. And how much before you have the cheat should you have the protein? Ideally, right with that meal. Or you can do like five minutes before. But that would really minimize... That what these foods do, so you still can eat the foods you love yeah. and ha achieve permanent weight loss. This is a very practical tip. I mean, you're gonna, I how you get a turkey sandwich, and I, I, I haven't had French fries in a long time. I know. But if you could have these as a little cheat, that's a pretty reasonable trade-off. Now, the second thing you're going to do is to align your spine by rolling for thir three minutes? Is that three minutes, three that's minutes, all that's you it. need. All right, teach me this a little bit, I'm curious. Okay, so your spine controls everything. All right here controls all the nerves and directly your digestive system. 
And when you can, it's not what you eat, it's what you metabolize. Okay. So if you're not metabolizing, you can't maximize fat burning. So if you keep your spine healthy, you will maximize your fat burning and achieve weight loss. So ideally what we want to do is we just want to roll them down. So come down here, just like this. We roll here. We put the roller right here. And we're just going, we're, we're, we're like a chiropractor at home, adjusting our back ourselves. Is this right? Yep, that's perfect. Roll and go again. And now this gives you self-adjustment. Now in addition with this roller, <laughs> keep going, keep going. You have your own personal masseuse. Keep rolling. <laughs> keep the core strong. There you go. Put your legs a little further out. This is a bit of a workout, guys. I know. Keep rolling back here. Under the guise of a workout. And yeah. stop right there at the lower back and then go again. And now what this does with, the, with, with actually the massage side of it, it keeps your tissue healthy, allows you to burn fat. It's great. Three minutes a day makes such a difference. And you can do more if you want. I mean, you can use it on your quad. You can use it on anything, but it makes such a difference. All right. The last uh, tip that you have, and this is the third thing you're going to do, is exercise your white and yep. your red muscles for 10 minutes a day. It's always and asking us to do is 10 it. minutes a day. So explain what white and red muscles are. Well, well, the first thing is that most people only do one type of exercise. They only activate about 50% of their muscle. Your body, you have about 50% white, 50 red. The white is like that high intensity burst of speed, yeah. and the red is that slow, steady cardio. So if you do five minutes of white fiber training with five minutes of red, 10 minutes a day, everyone can do that. You can do it in your living room while you watch Dr. Oz. So, <laughs> so just to be clear, so if you're only doing one or the other, you're only using half the muscles? Only 50% of your muscle. So by simply adding that, you burn about 50% more fat because you're activating all of your muscle. I'm in for this. It's okay. being smarter, right? Okay. It's not working hard, it's being smarter. Okay, so we're going to start first with a white, you always do your high intensity first. So we do a white fiber train. It's called a, a mountain climber. So you get down like this, left leg forward, ready, and we're going to climb. We go 30 seconds on and then we rest, but this would be an example. Ready? Go. Climb, climb, climb. There you go. Keep your core nice and strong. Climb. And you go as hard as you can. Make sure you get a steady breath. So keep breathing. Exhale. There you go. And you would do this. Help me. Someone help. Help, help. You would do this for 30 seconds. Now we'd stop. And you'd rest for 30 seconds. And you'd repeat that for that four or five minutes. Then uh -oh. we go right into the five minutes of fat burning cardio. And it'd be as simple as you get in a little squat position. And we're going to side shuffle. We'll step, 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 step. Step, and you can do this for a minute, two minutes. You do this straight, and then the next two and a half minutes, you can run forward, run back, run forward. Make a little diamond here That's to keep your it. spaces. And we would just do this, and when you do it, you want to keep shoulders back, keep your core strong, and now you're activating all of your muscle fiber. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes a day can do this. That's, that's what it's all about. Teaching people how to think, make things work realistically. Thank you very much. Wonderful advice. Thanks, Dr. Thanks, Dr.